Onivia. League of Legends highlights. Powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on eSports. No, it's not. It's going to be the Jav Javan 4 on the top side of the map. And Contract's going to be picking up that Nidalee. So theoretically, we could have double art and senses if we want them. But there is only one League of Legends in Oceania. So still, he's farming out great. But the Justice Punch is going to come in. And he's going to get taunted up. Spear lands from Contract's jumps forward. There's the flash to follow for the first blood. And Contract's, you'd expect him to be in the mid lane. But it's not... Big There's wave cataclysm. Setup. Yeah, impact going aggressive onto Chippies. He actually can't get out of here. But but thankfully, not a lot of damage. As the spear is going to land. That's going to finish him off. Meanwhile, on the bottom side, King able to pick up a kill against the flow. Speaking of creeping, here comes Contracts. Yep, and there it is. The heroic entrance going to come down as well. And despite the fact that that spear didn't land, Contracts is still going to hop over that wall and steal away the kill. Oh. Are not. Spear is going to land onto Chippies, and this most certainly is a problem as the heroic entrance is going to come down, and Jensen is finally going to pick up a kill for the Cloud9 squad who have been relying oh, on... Oh, God, Destiny. Didn't that necessarily want to take him. that fight in the end as Impact is going to teleport forward. Good Howling Gale is actually... He's going to knock him up. It was actually a rupture. He's just going to get eaten. Jensen comes down. They're going to trade one for one as Contract grabs himself yet another kill. The Justice Punch is good on Defantix. Valkyrie's himself out of the way, so he's going to be relatively safe. As Chippies is launching forward, he's actually quite tanky now. As King, that was a little bit over-aggressive. Flashes out. He's going to be fine for the moment, but he probably didn't. 3,000 gold behind, though, so we're not going to use that vision to be aggressive. As Shenpai is going to do exactly that. Contract's going down very, very low as there's the heroic entrance and impact massive cataclysm damage. Shen's going to die as well. Destiny, I believe, died incidentally as they were trying to kill everyone else. And this should definitely spell Baron. Shen dead, no smite. And C9 just looking to put the final nail in the coffin of what has been a very difficult game for the Direwolf. At Cloud9, they took their breath. They said, just run it back. We don't have the damage here, but impact going to get himself right in. Oh, Mox on Kippies, but not exactly the right champion that he wants to be going for is Shurnfire. That Arctic Assault was an odd one as Sneaky's going to be able to pick up that kill. And yes, it was a decent glacial. A slow, suffocating crawl for Cloud9. Yep, and uh, King is just taking so much damage. Phenomenal taunt comes down for Jensen, who's really playing this Galio like a man who's, who's been playing it all split. And he certainly hasn't. Contract's going to finish off Shurnfire. And C9, it's like this mid-jungle duo are uh, always going to have someone who gets all the kills. And this time, it's going to be Contracts with Jensen just setting them all up for him. The Nexus turrets are now going to be falling down as C9, 27 and a half minutes into this game, and lo looking to put the final nail in day one. And certainly, the statements have been made. Direwolves, they were talking the talk. But the walk was more like a limp today. We'll see whether day two is going to be better or whether their game to finish out the night is going to be better as well because that wasn't enough. And C9 look so dominant in this group. They look like the strongest team in playing so far. Lion definitely up there as contenders also looking good in form, but nothing to the...